from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday Stop Stories. The Minnesota administration's immigration policy being criticized by the United Nations. The government has been demolishing new structures being built on the farm shantytown in Abaco in violation of a current court injunction and plans to continue that exercise. But the UN has released a statement calling that decision a serious violation of the human right to adequate housing. It says it will likely result in increased homelessness and extreme poverty. Immigration Minister Ellsworth Johnson is fighting back, releasing a statement accusing the UN of lacking balance. Minister Johnson says the laws that are being enforced have international credence in every country that you go into. The Supreme Court issued an injunction in 2018 preventing the government from demolishing shanty towns until a court challenge has been completed, but it also stopped the construction of any new structures. Ministry of Works officials say it's the new structures they're dealing with, not any affected by that injunction. The Supreme Court has yet to release its ruling on that challenge. Prime Minister Minister is still undecided on whether the COVID-19 state of emergency will be extended when it expires on May 23rd. The Prime Minister says he will rely on health officials to help make that decision, but he says they want to get through this as quickly as possible. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. More than 100 confirmed COVID-19 cases for the three-day weekend period ending Saturday, 62 cases on Thursday, 57 on Friday, another 32 on Saturday, spread over a number of islands, most of them in the capital, 45 on Thursday, 42 on Friday, 26 on Saturday. Hospitalizations creeping up also, 58 persons now in, five of them in the ICU. Two more deaths reported, 213 now officially, the most recent, two women from the capital, 148, the other 52. Meantime, they're now moving into the second phase of the vaccination effort, second doses available beginning today. The corona number is too high for one school to continue in-person learning. Queens College has returned to virtual for the rest of the term. Students on campus for exams by invitation only. Ground Bahama Police looking into a stabbing incident on the island over the weekend. A man found on the side of the road with multiple stab wounds. He is hospitalized. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny, highs in the mid-80s, 85 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader, 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Monday's World News headline, signs that the coronavirus numbers in India may be coming down now. For the first time in days, less than 400,000 confirmed cases are reported and less than 4,000 deaths. Several states in the country now in lockdown mode, and that is likely to continue until the situation is somewhat under control. Meantime, some European countries are now opening up more. Britain expected to announce an easing of restrictions today. Spain and Portugal have already eased some restrictions, and the U.S. has its lowest infection numbers since the pandemic began. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 486, SO 494, Rubis now listed at $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune sports section, Devin Charlton with another record in the 100-meter hurdles. Find out where she did it over the weekend. Jazz Chisholm is ready to come off the injured list, heading for a rehab assignment before going back to the Marlins. 
Get the details of that and the rest of Major League Baseball. The latest on international soccer and the NBA. The Suns lost to the Lakers last night. Just six points for DeAndre in that game. The Kings beat Oklahoma City 14 points and a team-high seven assists for Buddy. The Kings making a late push for the playoffs, but there's just a week left in the regular season. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.